We are ordering every menu item off of the most popular character cafe in Tokyo today. The Pom Pom Curing Cafe is one of the must-visit character food spots in Japan. And we're gonna order every food item and try to eat it all. Wait, that's a serious challenge. In Japan, you're not supposed to leave any food on your plate. Where says luck? So Santi is a huge cinnamon roll fan. He has yet to discover the cuteness of Pom Pom Purin, so today, Kree and I brought him along to try to convert him to a Pom Pom fan. This is so much cuter than I thought. It's so cute! Are you yeah. excited? Why is the cinnamon roll? I don't get it. Like, what kind of restaurant is this? I want all of them. I want the cafe one. Oh okay. yeah, that's a cute one. A, B. I like that one. Two lesson. Hi. How about you know what? I know. After the tea set, Igai. Menu no sudete hitotsu desu. Fun fact about this cafe, it was invented by Pom Pom Perrin himself as a place to hang out with all of his friends, which is anyone who comes to that cafe, aka today, us. He also designed the menu himself and he made it to be both cute and delicious to make all of his friends happy. I think it was a success because you guys, this place is amazing from the decor to like the food. It is spot on adorable. I think I see why everyone thinks this is the best character cafe in Tokyo. Thanks, Pom Pom. So the three of us set out to eat everything on the menu. There were five entrees, three dessert ice lattes, an ice cream parfait, three ice cream sodas, three dessert hot lattes, and two donuts with pudding. There was also one more special item that we'll save for later. And of course, pom pom here and ears are a must. Look at this, oh, so this is adorable. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to eat all this. Animal. We gotta try Cree. <laughs> Those star potatoes look so good. Right? It's really, everything you need. It's a starter, a main, and a dessert. This one's the Kima curry. Look, Ooh. it's a mushroom hot, and then there's one little drop of chocolate on the top. This one is omelet rice. Oh, it's so cute. So cute. Oh, so cute. It's made for real. I don't remember the name of this one, but it looks good. We ordered so much okay, stuff, we can't remember. Yeah, we ordered this one. Oh my god. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited for that. for that. I just want to like live in this Sunday. We got to choose the cookies for each one. So we have a special challenge at the end, and the loser is going to receive a horrific penalty. Please, is this what you're eating for lunch? Yes. It has all the food groups, right? I mean, I guess there is fruit. There's, there's veggies, right? That's, it's that's not a green. Veggies. It's green. <laughs> You're supposed to eat the rainbow. This is my food pyramid. Mm. So something to keep in mind is you're coming here for the cuteness, you're coming here for the decor, the experience, not so much the delicious food. I wouldn't say it's the most delicious food I've ever had, but it's definitely the cutest food I've ever had. I think another thing to keep in mind is to come early on a weekday. We can get packed. It opens at 11, come at 11 on a weekday, beat the crowds, come for lunch instead of dinner. Mm. <laughs> the only thing with pudding on the menu is this donut. There's a disappointingly small amount of pudding on the menu for the pom pom pudding cafe. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this chocolate pom pom. Don't look. These are the coolest drinks to order. You should get something like this because it's very unique to the place with the unique like plating and the cup. Whereas something like this is like a soda is something you can get pretty much anywhere in Japan. So it's not so impressive. Take on, take on, take on, take on. <laughs> I would say for like this kind of experience with these detailed like foods, it's pretty affordable, right? Yeah, I agree. Like I think it's $7 for each one of these cute drinks. Definitely cheaper than Disneyland. That's palate cleanser. Is it possible to have a sugar overdose? I don't think so. That's a lot of sugar. I'm gonna be fine. By the way, if you love Pom Pom Purin as much as we do, make sure to subscribe because the next video is a deep dive on him too. Yeah. <gasps>
I'm so oh. full. Okay, I think we really oh overestimated how much we can eat. Come on, guys, we can do it. There's still some more to go. Wow. I hate this job. I love this job. I love this job. <laughs> All right, guys, come on. Come on, let's come, buddy. Free this donut has your name on it. Hi, same with it. Where'd all the coasters go? I don't know, that's the good question. I'm gonna challenge Kree and Santi on their pom pom here in knowledge. Despite being a hardcore cinnamon roll fan, Santi still thinks he knows a lot about pom pom, so let's see if he actually does. The loser of the quiz will have a horrific penalty. I hope you know your pom pom stuff, Santi. I don't care about pom pom, <laughs> but I'm very competitive and I always win, so it's gold or nothing. The first person to like hit the pom pom gets to answer first. We're starting off easy. What is Pom Pom Piran's birthday? 1996. And it's Aries. But what day? Aries is. April 16th. Oh, who gets it? Wait, who hit the buzzer? I did. Okay. Someone studied. Who gets it? <laughs> for Kree. What kind of animal is Pom Pom Pudding? Dog. Golden Retriever. Golden Retriever, yes. What is Pom Pom Pudding's favorite food? Pudding. A little light. <laughs> but more specifically. His mother's pudding. Oh, she's good. What is Pom Pom Pudding's favorite thing to do? Work out. Another point for Kree. Doesn't look like he worked out. <laughs> We don't talk like that about our no. friends. I think Fante can get this one. What does Pom Pom Wait, why are you saying it like that? Like, why is Fante can get this one? Like, I'm extra It's so bad. easy. Even Fante can get it. You know. What is Pom Pom's favorite words? Let's go out. Yes. And what does he hate? Stay. Yes. Two points oh. for Fante. There's going to be a little twist to this game out. But unfortunately, that was actually the last question. So the victory goes to Karine. Are you ready for your penalty, Fante? Yeah, what is it? <laughs> oh. All right, Santi, I know we're yeah. super full and we thought you were done eating. <laughs> you cannot be serious. Yeah, so you have to eat all of it. In the inside, they have boro boro. It's a little cookie that they give babies. I love, even though I'm not a baby. Okay, wait, okay, wait. <laughs> okay, let's just start with uh, <laughs> this thing. Yeah. I want a horrific punishment. All right, all right, let's help them. I Teamwork love makes the dream work. I love the baby food. <laughs> I have a plate too. This is your punishment. No, stop. Yeah, I already ate this guy. He was delicious, by the way. I can't decide if we're the best customers ever. Or the worst. worst. <laughs> if you're one of the real Pom Pom Hurin fans out there, leave a pudding emoji below and I will pick 10 winners to receive this adorable limited edition Sakura Pom Pom Hurin. But not this one, it's mine. Look at all this merch. Oh my God, this is pom pom heaven. So before we leave, I'm thinking of getting our new pom pom Piran fan friend, Santi, something special. Let's see what Cree thinks. Final decision? Yes. Well, Santi, so we know you really didn't want to come today, but thank you so much for coming. I did actually have fun in the end, so thank you guys so much. Cree and I have something for you. Oh my gosh. You guys should I have. hope you like it. I love it. Even though they have our differences, these two can get along. Converted. <laughs> Unfortunately, we failed on our mission to eat everything, but I still think we did a really good job and we had a lot of fun in the process. If you want to know more fun things about Pom Pom Purin, make sure to watch this video here next.